What's up and welcome back to Wonder Boy. But today I have a wonderful surprise. Anyways, moving on from cringy jokes. Today I will be joined by me. E. Cyanice. Make sure to go check out his channel. Anyways, what set will we be reviewing today, Cyanice? Today we'll be reviewing Benny's Space Squad. Um it has 68 pieces and is set 70841. And must I mention that this set is $10, and that is already a great price. Just wait until you see why. Anyways, now let's take a look at the minifigs. First up, we're going to take a look at Benny, which does come with a walkie-talkie, just the classic Lego walkie-talkie. And he does come with the classic Lego Spaceman helmet, but it's chipped in the little, so it's just the same from the 2014 version. Which is great to get, because I wasn't able to get Benny back then. He also does have this nice worn down torso, and this oxygen tank. He does come with that super happy face, and this sort of sad face right there. Pretty great minifig, don't you think so, Cyanice? Pretty great minifig, and pretty great for Benny. Anyways, moving on to the next minifig. So, now we're going to be taking a look at Jenny, another member of uh, Benny's space crew. Of course, you can see Jenny has a regular helmet uh, with an undamaged torso print, uh, and of course <laughs> is white and comes with the classic... Um, Lego smile on a yellow uh, minifigure head. So, of course, she has her oxygen tank back there in white. She has no visor for her helmet, and it won't show in the camera very well, but um, that little bit of gold for the planet on her uh, torso, along with the other three minifigs in the set besides Benny. It's quite shiny. Yeah, it has a bit of shine to it. So, um, she also comes with this weird blaster and or light. Uh, we don't really know what it is. It's one of those, though. So, moving one on. One of those! Buy them now! <laughs> one of those, uh, one of those blasters. Anyway. Moving up, we have Lenny, if I am not mistaken. Nope, Lenny. Anyways, he is the same as Jenny, only in pink, which is the first time the classic Spaceman has appeared in pink. Also, he comes with a wrench and just the classic Lego smiley face, just like Jenny. He's pretty much an identical fig, only pink, but still great to get here. Also, oh, let's mention about the helmet. It is pretty great, and it's actually different than I thought. It's really smooth on the top. Anyways, moving on to the next fig. The next fig we'll be taking a look at is Kenny, of course, another uh, nice spaceman from Benny's Space Squad. Um, he's pretty much like Jenny and um, Lenny, except for he's yellow. Uh, it's pretty nice. It blends in with his minifigure head with the traditional smile. Uh, there's the shine on the planet, by the way. Finally got it to work. Um, basically, he's exactly the same. He has his oxygen tank, no visor that comes with him. Um, and he comes with a metal detector as his accessory. So, that's about it for Kenny. Because you gotta find the gold on the moon. Anyways, moving on to the build. First up, we have Benny's, I guess sort of Benny's small spaceship. Which does have enough space to sit Benny the man himself or any of the other crew. Also on the back you have this thruster. Which is just using one of these cone pieces as I call them. Also there's like sort of an antenna piece over there. Air, and you do get this nice printed piece here. Which is also in the junior set from the Lego Movie 2 line. Anyways, there's some red lights here, and you do get these sort of wing pieces to make it look like it's hovering. Wee! Wee, nothing on the bottom, obviously. Pretty 
great spaceship overall. Anyways, moving on to the next build. So the next build for Benny's Space Squad is this little rover that's mostly gray. Um, I think it would be cool if they colored it white, so it would be meant for Jenny to drive or something like that. Maybe they could even color it blue like a classic space um, vehicle. And this has not only enough room for one figure, but as shown on the box, it has enough room for two figures. So you can fit two figures on this little rover. As you can see, it has a headlight up there of a transparent yellow piece. Um, of course, it is mostly just gray. It comes with the little wheels. Uh, it has these uh, clips on the back, so you can put accessories there. Yes. And then, that's pretty much it for the little rover build. And we have one last build to go over. Which, in my opinion, is the best build ever. Not just kidding, but it's pretty great. It's just a small little robot, which does look like from other sp other space sets also. Pretty cool. They use this switch piece on the top to represent sort of an antenna. These sort of, um, I guess, cheese slow pieces. One is colored in this light yellow to represent like his eye. And this one's blue just to represent like, like body pieces. Also, he does come with these two like robot arm pieces. And he is just used, his body is actually the camera piece, which just attaches to these, I call them hat pieces, because I used to use them as hats. Anyways, let's take a look at the packaging. So here is the box, pretty nice artwork here on the top, represents what it's supposed to, has the names on the back which is pretty great. Just stuff there. Some more box work there. Mark it on the... Oh, and you can see Benny on the top. Anyways, now for the instructions. Alright, so for the instructions, of course, this is how the instructions look. You had that Lego Movie 2 instruction art. And then, of course, the QNR code for the Lego Life app if you're interested in that. Um, of course, as... Uh, all the regular stuff for weather instructions. Not a very long instruction book. Uh, in total, the actual instructions part of it only goes on for, as you see right there, 29 pages. Uh, there's a Lego Life ad back here, and of course, the pieces. Also, let's not forget the classic Lego weird guy. Which I actually have all the pieces that I can make him. I have a red cup. Up, I have this torso print. This face print. Now I have like five of them. And I have this hair piece. So yeah, that's it for the instructions. So now for the final verdict of this set. Now, this set for $10 has to be one of the greatest sets out there. No joke. You get four classic space... Sorry, three classic spacemen. You get Benny, which is a great minifig onto itself. And the builds are actually pretty cool. They can be recognized very easily by LEGO space fans. This uh, robot build is my favorite because it's just nice, cute, and it's great. The rover build is pretty great, and the spaceship build is great too. I personally like the spaceship the most. So, anything else you want to add to this, Sci Nice? I think the only other thing I want to add is go check out my channel. Uh, pretty soon, Wonder Boy and me will be doing a collab on my channel. And, uh, make sure you go check that out. Uh, I'll be trying to get that video out as fast as possible. And I'll let Wonder Boy do his traditional outro. Well, we first have to finish the final verdict. Anyways, now that that shameless sponsor is over, I'm looking at you, Cyanice. Ice, this is an A+. Plus. Don't you agree, Cyanice? Yep, A+, plus set. I definitely like it. And mm. if I were to make a top 10 and best sets ever, this would be on the list. 
Definitely, along with, because my fans and you know me, a lot of Lego Star Wars sets. Way too much, man. Calm down, man. Anyways, I hope to see y'all the next time. Good bye.